Hello and welcome to Gen XYZ Finance and Technology. We are dedicated to gathering valuable information to keep you up to date with what is going on around the world. Everything you need to know about money and tech, we have right here. Before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more of us and hit that bell button so you'll be one of the first to know about our informative tech videos and practical financial tips. Now on to the video. Money is a broad subject that is not talked about enough in schools. Most kids typically learn about money from their parents, but not every parent has sufficient knowledge to pass down to their children. Today, we are taking notes from what the rich teach their kids and show you the five most important things to teach young people about money. Number 1. Social and Influential Skills one of the most important things for people to learn about the financial and business world concerns social and influential skills. The ability to socialize, communicate, and persuade other people can create opportunities that will help them in life. When young people have excellent social and influential skills, they build strong relationships and provide a sense of leadership in their circles. These skills allow them to see beyond face value and understand people's emotions and behaviors, which will greatly benefit their financial and business relationships in the long run. Number 2. Teaching them about the importance of money When we are young, it's hard to fully grasp how important money is when we are not personally paying for things ourselves. Financially responsible parents see the value in making sure that kids know that money is significant and it is something to take seriously. They know that money is essential so that their children can have options to live a comfortable life. Even though it's easy for wealthy parents to consider money as a resource, most of them understand that money is what allows them the freedom to do and buy whatever they want. They know that by having money and making wise financial decisions, they can choose where to live, which cars to drive, and which schools to send their children to. It's hard for less empowered people to understand the importance of money because they rarely talk about it, and some of them may have negative things to say due to personal hardship. Additionally, some people are reluctant to talk about money out of concern that they may sound materialistic or greedy. Because of that mindset, their kids may be affected and have little knowledge of how important money is. It will leave them at a disadvantage in a competitive society. Everyone should understand that money matters and it's important to take it seriously from a young age. Number 3. The Different Ways of Earning Money If young people are brought up to understand how income is created, they will be less intimidated by it later on. Instead of dreading a lack of money, they will see possibilities of how they can earn it. Parents of younger children can explain what their job or business is and that the family's bills are paid from working that job. Older kids can be given more details about salary, benefits, and the connection between education and compensation. Parents of all income levels should let their kids work regular jobs like customer service, retail sales, or fast food. This is the way to help them understand how hard we have to work to earn money. By making them work regular jobs, young people learn to interact with co-workers and the public. This prevents the sense of entitlement that some affluent teenagers have due to being given everything they want without earning it. Some wealthy parents allow their children to work regular jobs until they have enough experience to take over the family business. It is beneficial for young people to understand how all types of people work so they will know more than one way to succeed financially. By learning the dynamic between employees and management, they can develop a work ethic and take pride in doing a job well as a member of a team. Also, having an aspirational attitude towards work gives people a career ladder with a chance to move up. Kids should be encouraged to dream of management or ownership of their own business. Of course, not all money is earned through work. Most great fortunes were originally created through investment of some kind. 
It is well worth the time to educate kids about stocks, real estate, starting a business, venture capital, and the power of interest. By making them familiar with these concepts while young, they will be less intimidated later in life and have enough confidence to try for themselves. Number 4. Managing Money Parents can help their children learn how to manage their own money through letting them see how they manage their money. In other words, they let their kids know about how they plan to pay for their various household expenses. Once they understand about car payments, insurance, utilities, food, and tuition, they become less demanding about frivolous things they don't really need. At a young age, children can learn what's essential and what's discretionary. It's important to teach young people about what financial statements are and how to plan out a budget. This familiarizes them with the reality of having living expenses. Without teaching young people how to manage their own money, they will end up not having sufficient financial knowledge when they grow older, and this will be a huge disadvantage for them. Families whose money is always tight will often have a negative attitude when it comes to dealing with money, causing their kids to adopt the same behavior in life. We should teach young people that making money and paying bills is a reality of life, and what we do with the money we have determines our quality of life. Number 5. Developing Productive Habits Good habits are what we do consistently that bring positive results in our financial lives. One good habit to try is to imagine spending whatever amount of money you have on an impulse item, such as a TV. Now think about other things you may want soon that you can no longer afford since you bought the TV. There's a sense of well-being that comes with having money saved. Being broke leads to stress and a negative feeling of unpreparedness. One solution is to never spend all of your money, but leave half of what you have for later. Another good habit is to have few things to accomplish every day, whether it's chores, schoolwork, or reading a book. These goals can be written on a calendar or whiteboard, and finishing them will give a good feeling they will come to look forward to. We save the best money tip for last, and it's one we all know well. Credit, or rather, what not to do with credit. From a young age, it's very important that kids learn about the power and pitfalls of credit. How, with good credit, you can buy a house or a car and make manageable payments over a long time. But without restraint, credit can be a nightmare of consumer debt that's impossible to dig out from underneath. Giving a young person a credit or debit card with a low limit is a good way for them to practice making choices about money. They will be less likely to go crazy with it when they're older if they know about compound interest and how you can easily pay double or triple the original balance over time. Fractions and percentages are the most important math skills we will ever learn in school. Kids can learn how they apply to interest, giving them a sense of control over money. In life, no one owes us anything. We have to work for a lot of what we want, one way or another. Young people must understand this at a young age to develop a drive for success. Through social skills, money management, and productive habits, they will understand the most crucial parts of the financial world. Avoiding these things will only hold you back. Even wealthy parents have to humble their kids to avoid being spoiled because having a sense of entitlement could be a huge disadvantage for them in the future. And that's all for this video. Do you have some good advice for young people about money? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell to stay updated and be notified whenever we post new videos. Thanks for watching!